What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about zombies. Now for the fans out there who know me and have known me for the last couple of years, you know that I'm really into zombies. It's my favorite genre of all times and I'm not just talking about video games. I'm talking about film. I'm talking about comics. I love anything and everything that has to do with zombies. To me, it's the most terrifying scenario that could ever happen to human beings in the back and in, in the deep dark recesses of my mind. I think that there's some crazy scientist out there that's going to create some T-virus or G-virus and release it to the world and basically screw everybody over. But until that day, we're still safe. But when it does happen, just know that Beastly Gamer called it. Anyway, today we're going to talk about Dead Island, uh, one of the pivotal open world zombie survival games. I remember when I first played Dead Island, I had a blast playing it. It was open, it was slow, there was a lot of crafting, finding survivors, everything that you could imagine doing in a real zombie apocalypse. So I really, really enjoyed it. I actually really enjoyed Dead Island Riptide as well. Uh, and I probably got to say I enjoyed the first game a little bit more. And so with news that Dead Island 2 was coming out, of course, we got that news around the beginning of 2015, I was kind of stoked to see what they would do. Uh, but unfortunately, last year, the game was canceled, uh, or at least delayed. There was two development studios working on this game, Deep Silver and Jaeger Development, and I I'm guessing there were some creative differences, and so Jaeger left and left Deep, S Deep Silver there, who decided to start completely over on the project, and they pretty much canceled and canned everything that they had up until that point, and decided to redo the entire game is that going to be good or is it going to be bad who knows my thoughts are this they probably saw dying light and saw that dying light was infinitely better than whatever they were working on and said oh no the hell with that we cannot release this game it's going to get trounced in media the people who played dying light are going to kill this game uh and we got to do something else and so that's probably more than likely why jaeger left and uh they left deep silver to work on the game my favorite game as far as zombies go believe it or not is dying light i love that game it's terrifying and awesome and beautiful and every great thing about zombie games uh so i guess time will tell whether or not we're actually going to see a real viable uh, Dead Island 2. I think that we will. More than likely, they're going to take a lot of things from Dying Light and try to implement it into their new system. But in the meantime, for people out there who haven't had the chance to play the Dead Island games, something to hold you over is coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. They are actually releasing the Dead Island Remastered Collection on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And uh, this is something that I may look into getting. I think it's a pretty good value to believe it or not. And uh, for people who haven't played the Dead Island games, I would implore you to get it. Now, this is what you're going to get. With this definitive collection for PS4 and Xbox One, you're going to get Dead Island. You're going to get Dead Island Riptide. And also Dead Island Retro Rampage, which is a 2D side-scroller that was released, I believe, last year. That was kind of made in the same vein of Dead Island, which is a different play mechanic altogether. So check it out. If you buy the game as a disc version, you're going to get Dead Island, Dead Island Riptide, and Dead Island Retro Rampage, which is a 2D side-scroller that's made in the same vein as Dead Island for $40. Alternately, you can also get these games digitally individually. Well, there's a lot of Lees in there. You can get uh, Dead Island for $20 or Dead Island uh, Riptide for $20 on the PlayStation Store or on Xbox Store. I don't know if that's going to actually come with Retro Rampage or not, but this is something that they're going to be pushing out on May 31st. So it's right around the corner, kind of, for people who need zombies in their life, who want to play some of these older games. I'll tell you now, I got both of these games already on PS3. I might not end up getting this unless I'm super bored. I got tons of games to play now, but I will say that these games are fun and worth playing. Uh, if you have not given them a look before. You guys let me know in the comment section, what do you think? There's a lot of questions I got for you guys. What happened when it comes to Data Island 2? Why did they cancel development of that game? Do you think it had anything to do with Dying Light? Also, are you interested or do you know anybody who's interested in picking up the Dead Island Definitive Collection, which has Part 1, uh, Riptide, and Retro Rampage. Let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, guys. Show support for this channel. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.